Hi and welcome. I'm excited today, folks, to share with you how to build your own solar panel for absolutely free. Do you believe you can get a whole solar panel for free? Yes, I do. And you should the same. I've got a heap of load of videos, just about maybe five, very exhaustive and informative videos to teach you on step by step guide into building your own solar panels. Um, feel free to download the videos right after this video and um, share with me your feedback, you know, um, your success and everything else you've done ever since. Thank you and see you on the next video. Make sure to download now. Hi, my name is Mark and today I'll be showing you how to build your own solar panel capable of producing approximately 60 watts for under $200. As you're probably aware, solar panels can be quite expensive, but by following the instructions in this video, you'll be able to save a whole lot of money by making your own. We explain in detail how you can do this at home and what you can do with the finished product. First, I'm going to go through the different tools that are necessary for building a solar panel at home. These tools are what I like to use. If you're more comfortable using something else to do specific jobs, then by all means use that. We're building a panel with a white acrylic backside and a clear acrylic front, so you'll need a tool to cut that with. For that purpose, I have an acrylic cutter, which is used to score the acrylic so that you can put it on an edge and break it off easily. To screw down the frame, we have a drill and some drill bits. You'll need to have drill bits of two sizes, smaller size for the pilot holes, the bigger one for drilling the actual hole, and a unibit for drilling the hole for the chase nipple. We're using liquid silicone caulk throughout the job, so we need a caulk gun and silicone. Gloves are very important when handling the solar cells. Oils from your hands can stain the cells and reduce amp output, so whenever you handle cells, make sure you're wearing gloves. Next, we have the soldering iron, which is used to solder the cells together. You may also want to wear a mask when soldering, because the fumes from the solder can be quite obnoxious and can give you a headache. Here we have some protective eyewear. It's important to wear something to protect your eyes during the build. When you're soldering, sometimes the flux and solder can flick up. You definitely don't want that in your eye. An important item is the multimeter. You want to make sure that your multimeter can measure both volts and amps. A multimeter like this one only costs about $10 from any hardware store. This is a must-have item as we'll use it to test the solar panel when it's finished to see if it's producing the correct wattage. We'll need some screws. When selecting screws, make sure you use stainless steel screws as they last much longer. You don't want your solar panel frame to fall apart after a few years due to cheap screws. Stainless steel screws will cost a little bit more, but it's a very worthwhile investment. Then we have a wire stripper and two screwdrivers, a Phillips and a flathead. You might not even need to use the flathead, but it's a good idea to have one on hand just in case. You'll also need fine point needle nose pliers, which are good for crimping the tab wire. Also, some useful tools are a pencil or a marker and Hey, hey, hey. The rest of the video is 40 minutes. Uh, you've already seen four minutes of it, uh, but go ahead and get the full video. Um, just click on the link in the description or just go to tinyurl.com for slash the solo project and get the rest of the videos for absolutely free. This is yours to take. Um, enjoy and let me know how you, how you went on uh, with building your own solo project. Thank you very much and God bless you.